Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and guys, Amber Heard's PR team is in a tizzy right now. The interview did not work the way they thought it would. The mainstream media cover-up is not being believed, and they've now activated the bots to come at me harder than I've seen in a very long time. They are desperate. Why? Because Amber is exposed again. This interview exploded in her face, and I want to play a clip before we go through more debunking, which we're going to do, as well as detailing how these bots have already been coming at me. I want to show you the most repugnant part of last night's interview. It affected me so much, it stuck with me this morning, and I want to play it again to spotlight it for you all. Watch this moment. His lawyers argued at trial. None of his other prior relationships, not one woman has come forward and said he physically hit them. You were the only one. Look what happened to me when I came forward. Would you? This is such a slap in the face to every survivor who was brave enough to go forward and tell the truth. The truth. This, the audacity of her to sit there and speak on behalf of Winona Ryder, Vanessa Parody, Kate Moss, any woman who's been with Johnny who's spoken up to defend him. The audacity Amber heard to say they weren't strong or brave enough to come forward because they didn't believe you? This is you holding victims back. This is you being selfish, saying they won't believe you because they didn't believe me. Your message should be, they should have come forward. I don't know why they didn't, but I will support. You, you aren't supporting the community. You aren't part of this community. You're a monster. How dare you say that with such confidence to this reporter? And honestly, how dare you, Savannah, give her a platform to do this, to attempt to let her say this stuff, which is so evil towards the, so many brave people, men and women, who come forward and get justice. Many of them still get justice. It's not a perfect system. It is a broken system at times that needs a lot of work. But you, ma'am... You are doing such a discredit to actual victims, and it sickens me. And your comment this chair, this, it just exposed you. I, 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 I can't even begin. That's why we're so passionate about this. It has nothing to do with Johnny, pirates, movies. Guy, you keep treating him like a character and not a human being. He's not Jack Sparrow. He's Johnny Depp. And you know him way better than any of us do, and you don't treat him like a human being. You film them when he's asleep. You're, a, you're a abhorrent. That's why we don't like you, Amber. And you're still out there refusing to take any accountability. And I'm sick of it. And that's why, because I will not back down, and thanks to all of you who stood by, hit that subscribe button, a perfect time while I'm heated. Hit that bell, support this community, because we will not let this die down. We are going to start reporting on things, but this is still, this is such a crucial part because there are some people on the outline, on the outside who aren't getting notified. And I'm hoping with you guys still watching and spraying this, some new people will come in to to fill the truth. This isn't me being biased towards Johnny. It's me being biased to the evidence, to actually watching the trial and giving her a shot. She did it, and we're, we're going to debunk it all right now. It's time to debunk it all. Before I get to the debunking, it's important you know how bad it's getting out there for Amber and her team. This is not new to me to be... This is an old playbook. Eve Barlow is the one who was the first one to try to do this playbook against me and then activated the, the shooters, as he calls them, to come at me. Um, but then it died down for a little while. But suddenly, this today, I've gotten dozens of these. Dozens of these coming at me that I can see. Uh, So-called body language uh, collaborating with a known R word, Andy, and passing judgment on an R victim. First of all, I, that is defamation and false. That is not true. That is, I am not known for that. I was accused of that. You could have probably gotten away with that saying that, Hemant, who was probably Eve or somebody for all I know. Uh, but I'm done letting people like this talk to me. So I called this person out, and thanks to all you guys who stood up. And then what did this person do? This didn't, didn't retract or delete. They just protected their account because they were worried about getting their account shut down. But that wasn't the only person. Look at that. Uh, uh, oh, who, are, uh, who do you think they support, Amber Profile? Uh, Casey tries to deny it. He's been accused of multiple women, but no, that's false. That is blatantly false. If you actually read the articles that you were there, one woman accused me of two incidents, and that woman was proved false. 
They don't even read the art. They don't care about evidence. You guys know this. But it starts getting spread around, and then they try to report me for it. And then more of these bots come out. These are all just, I don't even know who these real people are. I don't believe these are real people at all. They're trolls, or they're paid somebody's, in my opinion. Uh, and, and there's a ton of them. I don't want to keep giving them attention, but it sickens me. And I, I don't hide this. If you guys are like, well, Andy, I didn't know about it's. I, I've talked about it in detail. I always talk about I take responsibility for the, fault, for the faults I did do in my marriage. And I've been adamant in, in, in explaining the things I didn't do and proving it. And you can learn all about that. It's pinned on my Twitter. I'll put a link in the description as well. If you want to learn my story and my own Amber Heard, you can learn all that. There's articles now. Thank goodness more and more people are standing up to the truth. They weren't when I came forward a couple years ago. Many people who accuse me still staying silent. I just That's why I'm, I'm at it. You know, I'm passionate about this case, and it's why I really want to showcase not it's not just about me, obviously, but I want to showcase the facts and I want to debunk that interview. And, and M over on Twitter did a masterful job. I give you a round of applause, M. I'm going to put a link to her Twitter thread as well. I hope you guys will read and share it as well. But I want to breeze through some of these because to all you Amber stands, you robots, just stop wasting your time. She's lost, it's over. First thing she said in the interview is that she's not vindictive. That, that's a, what it's a lousy way for vengeance. False. Amber Heard and Dan Wooten tried to meet with J.K. Rowling to get him fired from Fantastic Beasts. She seemed mad that I, su that I suggested recasting Depp in the movies. The only decision was to show that she's a woman of true character and principle, even when her famous friends are involved. But I held my nerve where the facts were on my side, and the very rich Scottish author eventually relented with a few tough words from her overpaid lawyer thrown my way. Depp didn't relent, as you may have heard, losing the court case. Uh... Both Amber and I offered to meet with Rowling separately to explain what we knew about Depp's behavior, but she rebuffed our attempts. So this is Dan Wooten in the Daily Mail writing to say that, yeah, we tried to meet with Rowling to get her fired. So you're not, you're not vindictive. You didn't want him fired. False. Lie. Eh. <laughs> you're lying already because you said you, you didn't want to get jo ruin Johnny's career. You did. Uh, as for her claims about freedom of speech, there are limits. You can't just defame someone as a global scale and then say you're just exercising your First Amendment's rights. She keeps leaning on that, and, and it's, again, eh, false. Amber Heard said in the interview that the op-ed wasn't about her relationship with Johnny Depp. Oh, really? Uh, interesting. Let's, let's watch that again, shall we? Why did you do that? Because the op-ed wasn't about <laughs> okay. my relationship with Johnny I know how many people will come out and say whatever for him. That's his power. That's why I wrote the op-ed, is I was speaking to that phenomenon. How many people will come out in support of him and will... So it was about him and his power. Aha! I thought it wasn't about Johnny Depp. Didn't you just say, it wasn't about Johnny? Why did your op-ed wasn't about my relationship with Johnny? Yeah, it was. It's about the power of people not be standing up for him and not believing you. It was about him. You said it in your own words, girl. Uh, Amber Heard's moving on. No, she's never moved on. Bravo, M. Again, uh, she's been taunting Johnny Depp on social media every time there was news about him in the press. A trailer, a release for Pirates, when he changed his tattoo to Scam, uh, she had to go back and say, no ink needed. She's always been prodding at him, teasing him, joking at him. She's done it throughout, throughout, for this whole time. She wants to play like she's not vindictive and she's moved on. Lies. Eh, false. Amber Heard said she wrote the op-ed with the help of a team of lawyers, yet she still gets sued and lost. Maybe if you were telling the truth, you wouldn't have needed a team of lawyers, right? Right. Also, you signed a divorce settlement saying you wouldn't talk about it and you couldn't help but talk about it. Uh, heard claimed that people were holding signs uh, that were, pro you know, wanting, wishing her the unalive completely false show me one amber you didn't take a picture of that you didn't take a picture of that because that would have been pretty damning i mean i'm surprised you didn't have one of your own people stand there with that sign to try and make it look bad but no we've all stared at the signs everybody who was there has responded responded to this there were no signs that were saying the things she said in this interview Eh, false. Amber Heard claims she didn't want any of this to be public. That's also a lie. She sent her lawyers and she sent his Johnny's lawyers an extortion letter threatening to go public if JD didn't give her the penthouse, the Land Rover, spousal support. I think it was like 50 grand a month. <laughs> I wanted nothing but all this stuff. And I will publicly expose you if you don't give me said stuff. Got it. But I didn't want it public. Uh, Laura Wasser, Johnny Depp's divorce lawyer, testified that Amber Heard's lawyer didn't want to solve this uh, privately. In almost all of our cases, certainly those with high-profile clients, 
we would have liked to take it out of the system. Ms. Spector was not willing to do that with this case. Without any notice to us at 8.30 in the morning on the 27th, Samantha Spector and her client went into court and obtained a no notice ex parte restraining order. Yeah, huh, but I wanted it private. I didn't, I, I wanted, I, I, I didn't want to be public. I didn't want it to be public. Uh, she never instigated violence. Yeah, okay. Yes, she did. I don't, I don't have to go through that. I wanna, I'm trying to keep this monetized, but go watch the thread. Amber, I'm not here to call witnesses any names. Make a judgment. How could they not come to that conclusion? They had sat in those seats and heard th over three weeks me from paid oh. employees. I'm not going to call them names. They're just paid perjurers and towards the end of the trial randos <laughs> as i say <laughs> randos <laughs> you are evil girl you even kept you know you're lying right now you got caught you don't care i didn't call them i don't want to call them anything well you just did after savannah pointed out the tapes she said the tapes aren't evidence of what happened because you take blame for things when you are in an abusive relationship here's ah taking talking to someone not jd admitting she hurt him hours after she severed his finger uh and her sa claims guys i've played a video about this go listen to this audio she owns up to it and the doctors never attend to her while she's bleeding out of you. Guys, it's insane. This audio tape just explodes her whole thing and it didn't get, come in because of the other people in the audio tape. That's why it didn't come in. No tapes with other voices was allowed to come in. Uh, Amber heard in Cynthia that JD's exes were also, as I said, what happened to her? Kate Moss, Winona Vanessa, defended him in court. You're all calling them liars and you're saying that they are too afraid of the power to speak the truth because Amber wasn't believed. None of them would. They all, dude, if they all united against Johnny, he'd be toast. But they told the truth and you can't handle it. We prevailed in the UK. AH was just a witness. It wasn't her case. She keeps trying to say Amber won in the UK. No, the son won. And I, who wants to ever defend the son? Amber, do you even realize the publication, publication you're defending? It's sickening to me. They're one of the worst tabloids out there. A lot of evidence was missing. The judge dismissed the evidence. Let's not forget his own son worked for the defendant. I mean, oh, but we prevailed. No, the son prevailed. Stop saying you prevailed. Um, and this is very, I got to be careful. Uh, marriage counselor, which again, you can watch this clip. She would initiate the, f the fights and she would do the actions to keep him there. She said she wanted to do that. She'd rather do that so he didn't leave. This, this tape was damning against her. And this was their marriage therapist who met with both of them. And you could tell she didn't really want to be there. She'd rather be in a fight and have him leave. It was a pride to her if she felt disrespected to start... If he was going to leave her to de-escalate from, from it, she would do that to keep him. She would rather be, him there, be there than have him leave. Amber Heard says again, Johnny used uh, Mary Jane and MB, all this stuff, all these downers, and somehow that made him the monster. It makes no sense, and you know it. Those are downers. Those aren't uppers. He's going to fall asleep, not do the things that you keep claiming. Plus the new mountain of evidence that didn't get in, the therapist notes that were hearsay because they're things you told somebody. That doesn't make them factual. And again, as many have pointed out, it looks like her handwriting. <laughs> so where do these even come from? Who knows? Uh, hearsay, here's, Ad here's a text from Johnny to Malcolm Connolly begging him to get AH out of the room because she won't stop hurting him. Uh, here's the text from Amber's own parents texting Johnny saying that the lawyers made her do it and they still love him. This was after the TRO. Why would, exactly, why would they say this to someone who hurt their daughter? They wouldn't. These text messages are damning. Go watch, go read the thread. Uh, she also changed her story three times. You never, never forget, forget it. it. That's how I remember it. it. You never forget it. It changes your, changes life, your life forever. forever. Oh, but I forgot when I read the notes that it, I didn't remember the first time. <laughs> Because I got to put these notes in. Oh, but wait, we didn't even get the notes in? Crap. Them to be seen, you wanted to be seen, excuse me, as a noble victim of domestic violence. I have you? never, never wanted to be seen as a victim. 
nor have you... I ever called myself one. Oh, really? I'm not a, a good victim. I get it. I'm not a likable victim. I'm not a perfect victim. But you are one now. Okay, got it. Because you you got really angry when she called you one earlier. How do you stands follow this? How do you keep standing up for this woman? He's a character. He's John. Feel they know him. He's a Jack fantastic Sparrow. actor. Their job is to not be dazzled by that. <laughs> Their job is to look at the facts and the evidence. And they did yeah. not believe your testimony or your evidence. I, again, how, how could they, after listening to three and a half weeks of testimony... <laughs> and trial and evidence when you had your own three weeks to do your side, how could they tell the truth? That's just impossible. Uh, because he has uh, he has scissors for hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, seven jurors concluded you lied about it. Uh, and uh, again, uh, an opinion column is just called the social media misogyny now mob mentality. I attended that, that trial for four weeks. There were there were supporters outside and inside the courtroom. A hundred allowed in each day to the courtroom. There was zero mob mentality in that courtroom. Absolutely. She keeps trying to say like they were there screaming and hooting and hollering for Johnny in Jack Sparrow attire. Lies. There were so many lies. Amber. Amber stands. It's PR firm. Quit while you're ahead. Take some time off to be with your daughter. Enough is enough. I thought you wanted to move on. You're the one who's now dragging him through the butt. He's not saying anything. Every time you speak, we're going to reply because you want the attention, I guess. Do you want to move on or do you want the attention? Which one is it? Because you can keep telling the same story over and over again. We're not going to suddenly believe you. You've provided nothing that actually proves anything. And the fact that you keep speaking for victims like that and holding them back with your selfish comments. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm not letting it happen. We will keep being as loud as we need to be to expose this. And thank you to M for putting that out there. Go uh, subscribe and follow uh, M over on social media. Uh, a lot of really good stuff there. And uh, bravo. Uh, uh, bravo. You can mute me, but you can never mute your nightmares. <laughs> yeah. Well said. Uh, and thank you for that debunking. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell for all alerts. Get the word out. Uh, and you're not going to want to miss our exclusive coming soon. For real. Man, have we got an end. Exclusive. Coming your way. So hit the subscribe and stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. <laughs>